University of Pretoria deemed as favourites, while the University of Johannesburg are labelled as the underdogs. But both these teams have done enough after eight games to set up a clash in this year's edition of Varsity Netball in the final. You, Joe, when they played against you, um, Northwest, they really came here guns blazing. They were, uh, you know, from from the shooter up until the defender, everyone was, was putting their hands up. They came here to play. On oh, Dobela with good hands to save that one. Look at how well Fansela is pushing Mushuri up top there in the circle. Yeah. yeah, she's doing a great job try, trying to push Mushuri away from the shooting circle because she knows that she's a zone one kind of shooter. Just getting a turnover ball for the University of Pretoria. And the patience that is practiced by Gamu before releasing that ball into the hands of Ailis Kenan. That midcourt of Tux, we did talk about it. We did say um, UJ is really solid on both shooting circles. But in that midcourt, Tux is going to make them dance. They don't have the the luxury of uh, uh, you know of being trailing by by three goals we know because we know what tax is all about when we still have two power plays yeah that will certainly be a game changer indeed the two power plays Look at that second quarter performance from University of Johannesburg. It seemed as though they're giving away so many balls. You know, we need to um, give them that, that they really know how to to nail the, the power play. And Maseko occupying that base. Oh! Semi Ngubane. Yeah, but look at that support from Dumi Mashoko taking the ball right down into the transverse line, just alleviating that pressure from the goal attack and the wing attack. Can she step up? Of course she does. She's done this before. Mushuri Sajoyo levels up. Oh, look at that. Patience. Attacking to the side of Dax, they find Alice Kedden. Good fake from Miller Kutia. And uh, on her feet, Jenny Van Day. They need to make sure they look after the ball, UJ. You know, if I was UJ right now, I'll play that ball around until it's 10 seconds to go. And, uh, and, uh, and then shoot when there's only 10 seconds to go because now if they shoot now they still tux will have time to take that ball down but melissa oh my goodness 18 seconds now it's time for them to press tux yep that's the game done and dusted 60 seconds but because the score currently sits at 51 goals apiece it will certainly be extra time right now and you can just see from both sides they're going to take as much time as they want with ball in hand to ensure safety inside that shooting circle yeah, Mupenda trying to get intercept you can see Dimi Mashoko also trying to set there but brilliant offload there to Cannon and it's all patience from the side of Tux they keep the ball too much in their hand and not releasing it on time and that's why they they lost some few balls there but uh, still a lot of time oh but my goodness here's the flare we've been talking about oh come on now yeah, they can feel it yeah attacks have all the supporters we saw rosena face and we saw former pro tier coach elise kutia there on the side and what a victory this is for the University of Pretoria doing it on home soil and the crowd goes crazy. Today they go a Victoria 63-61 to them. They really had to duck deep. They had to be clinical. So it was really a um, well-deserved win for UP Tux. It really has been a successful tournament for the University of Pretoria. And what better way to do it right here on home soil inside the Rembrandt Hall.